Welcome to Social Sessions, where we explore the dynamic intersection of music, culture and Q&A through the lens of today's brightest talents. We'll dive deep today into the story behind the artists who are shaping the social and musical landscape in Scottish rap. In this session, we are privileged to journey alongside Daza, a compelling figure in Scottish rap. From his roots to his powerful lyrics exploring addiction and resilience, Daza's journey is as inspiring as it is authentic. So welcome to Social Sessions. We're joined today with Daza, who is from the Scottish rap scene. Um, so Daza, I'm just going to take you back, right, just to Hi. your like, kind of own childhood and stuff. So where was it you grew up? Uh, I grew up all over the place. I was, like, I was born in uh, Vale, just by Dumbarton. Um, my dad was in the army, so grew up kind of all over the place. I've to look England, Germany, Scotland, but mainly Northern Ireland. Yeah. And what was it, what was it like growing up for you? Did you have a kind of stable upbringing, or was it? Aye, like aye. obviously well stable in the sense of like my mom and dad were together. You know, it wasn't a violent home. Do you know what I mean? Um, they both worked, had jobs and stuff like that, so we were able to provide. But moving about a lot. Do you know what I mean? With aye. my dad's job never really settled anywhere till I was like ten year old aye. in Northern Ireland. So. What was school and all that? Was it like same kind of jumping about schools Just and struggled at school? So I did. Um, obviously, we moving about and stuff Aye. like that. You know, you'd be somewhere for a couple of years, just start to settle in, and then have to move away. Aye. Um, and a lot of the time, like, only spent a few years in school in Scotland. So a lot of the time, I had different accent for people. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So you know what it's like with Wayne's and that, and you've got a different aye. accent, and it's like people mocking your accent. Aye, just that, aye. Aye, Wayne's being Wayne's into it, but it's, when you're the kind of person that's getting it, it kind of things. So what, did, did it kind of change for you? When when did you kind of settle then? Was it the, the, the Vail and Dumbarton? Is that where you kind of settled then? No, that's where I was born. So in Northern Ireland, a place called Lisbon. Right. In Northern Ireland, when I was just... Just before, a year before high school, ten I was or something, Aye. stayed there, there. And was that, was it troubles and that one then, was it? Just kind of at the end of it, do you know what ah, I mean? Right. It was Aye. just like at the tail end of it, they started sort of taking cameras. I don't know if you remember like the Divis Flats and stuff like that. It would have been on the news. Aye, aye. Like they were taking Aye. all the cameras and everything down after there. Aye. Um, it used to be the RUC, that was just then changing to like, uh, police Northern Ireland and all that, so it's kind of at the end. At the end, of the end, it, the end it, I mean? I... Thank God, isn't it? Obviously, it's for the Irish people and all that. That was one of the worst things that could happen, and all that kind of stuff. And we had Neil McKay on before who was kind of talking about all that kind of stuff. But um, so, how is we in uh, Northern Ireland? When did, when did you kind of? So I, st- I was 10. 10. 10 when I moved there, um, and I ended up there till I was 20. So you used quite a lot of time then? Aye, right? ten years, even even after. So my dad finished up in the army, I think I was about 17 or 18, and Aye. I stayed there, there for uh, a couple of years, and obviously uh, I was doing certain things, and Aye. I got asked to leave the country. Uh, was that, like, obviously involved in crime and stuff like that and just die yeah. and, and, and kind of stuff like that aye. so when was that when did you start kind of get and was it was it a working class scheme I take it you were in and because Northern aye, Ireland aye. Northern Ireland's quite bad in it aye so at first obviously like stayed in kind of uh, army houses but my mom didn't die decided when we both wherever me and my sister start high school aye. Um, they would buy a house there do you know what I mean and that just happened to be Aye. be there so we could kind of finish school know that I ended up finishing school through all the aye. stuff that I was doing and that do you know what I mean but I so um, just a non just a kind of normal work normal kind of thing so what was it what, what kind of stuff were you getting involved in Daz what were you get like see like when you were what, what age were you when you started kind of getting yourself involved in the crime and all that probably 14, 15 as young as that um, aye. aye I got my first so earlier well there, it's a thing called the Juvenile Justice Centre. Aye, aye. Um, before the Wiles, so you would go to the Wiles when you're 17 there. there. Aye. Um, so before that, it's it's like a a secured unit, but it's... it's like kibble in that here? Like kind of that kind of... It would like, be similar to that, aye. but it's a, a bit more like... A bit more uh, formal, a bit more like right. kind of jail. Like you've still got a number and all that kind Is of it? stuff. Do you know what I mean? Aye. But it's no pure... Is regimented as 
is aye, aye, aye. the jail is, do you know what I mean? Still about putting kids into that, I just, that's a lesson we've had people on before and we've talk, spoke about it and just putting kids in that environment and did you, is obviously in that, these places, did you learn a lot of bad behaviours and all that, Daz? I was that, you kind of started learning? Uh, kind of, how you'd meet other people who were in first, because you know, kind of, how you'd, like, you'd meet people that were your age but in for more serious stuff aye. and then, but... That's what you know what I mean? And then you just die, just I know. progress and progress, do you know what I mean? I just like networking, isn't it? Really? <laughs> like, <laughs> I said, I just like network. That's like, that's what I used to say in Pullman now, and you just like networking for crime, and uh, it's a shame. So, what, so obviously, what, you, you were so 16, 18, and stuff like that. What happened when you started getting out of kind of serious stuff? So, started. Drugs, do you know Aye. what I mean? Started taking drugs, um, m m no even party drugs, do you know Aye. what I mean? Smoking hash, eckies, and then punting drugs, obviously, Aye. you know, you don't have money really at I that know. age, do you know what I mean? So it's like, how my else am I going to fund it? Aye. Older boys, give a wee Aye. bit, there's a bit of graft, do you know what I mean? And, and kind of for that, because um, I was Scottish again, Everybody know, knew who I was, do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's I was dry, so it just it, <laughs> pure jailbait, do you know what I mean? Like, it was a Scottish guy. Aye, aye, it's like, how do you, you just aye. do it? Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, I mean. So, was it all like obviously you're getting into that? When does it, when does it start kind of turning into the kind of harder drugs and stuff? Oh, I didn't start. I didn't really, no, no, no really heard Northern Ireland. So Northern Ireland Because see, back then, there mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't really anything like that back then, do you know what I mean? That, but there was, but it was very, very, very quiet. And Aye. nobody in the circles that I would have moved in would have been... So see, like, if that. you look at Glasgow, right, and obviously you take Glasgow, and you look at Northern Ireland, is there, is there similarities to the crime scene? Or are they totally different? So as well as kind of, as well as the police in Northern Ireland, you've got paramilitaries as well. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So they they're kind of. I need to they, 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 they answer to them in a way. Aye, like, aye, aye, aye. They'd probably be more worried about what they do than aye. getting caught by the police. Aye, you know aye, what I mean? Cause aye. Like, aye. No, I know, and I, obviously you see, you see the films and all the documentaries and stuff and, and what happens and stuff like that. So was it something kind of like that that pushed you away then, Daz, or did you... Aye, aye. so that's, that's exactly what happened. Aye. I got asked to leave the country. Aye. Um, just got warnings, enough chances, enough, do you know aye. what I mean? Um, you need to take the warning, didn't you? Aye, but I thought, nah, it doesn't matter. I know, I know. To be all right. Aye. Do you know what I mean? thought aye. I was... For, Invincible, aye. you know what I mean? Aye, that might work for aye. them, but I'll be all right. Aye. I mean, I'll be sound. I know. Aye, you he'd lie to you, aye, 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 I'll be all right. Fuck them. <laughs> so when was it you go, when, when did, was it, so was it 20 or something? Aye, 20, when I was 20, I came back to Scotland, um, but I didn't know anybody here, do you <clears> know what I mean? Um, and I didn't even stay here that long. Because by this time, I've not got a very good relationship with my mum and dad, you know Aye. what I mean? Um, kind of all the stuff that yeah, I'd put them through and everything like that, Aye. do you know what I mean? Just all the pure worry and the stress and all that. So I came, ended up in homeless accommodation. Aye. Um, Meet, same again, meeting Aye. types of people, yeah. lack of connection, connecting with the wrong people. Um, so where does that take you here then? Does that take you into the kind of harder drugs or are you, are you still not in that? Are you still kind no of moving into it? No, even really. Aye, but no. I didn't have like a pure habit or anything like aye. that then, do you know what I mean? It was, um, I ended up going down to England to stay with my uncle aye. Um, down there. Um, and I got involved with people down there. Aye. Um, was grafting down there. And that's kind of, where I got kind of into harder, harder stuff, stuff there, to it, do you aye. know what I mean? Um, because Brighton's got a massive kind of drug party scene kind of hang into it. It's aye. Like, aye, you'd, it's almost, you'd almost think you're abroad, do you know aye. what I mean? See, in the summer, it's like, it's pure jumping and aye. the weather's good and there's stuff open later and aye. you can get drink 24 hours, do you know what I mean? So it's like a pure party aye. central in the summer, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of events and stuff on like that. 
No, because I've, I've heard people talk about Bright before and talking about just how it's like there's different uh, kind of criminal elements down there, but for like different places, like all oh, like if you're London boys, you've got like all different Glasgow boys, like there's all different people down there, all yeah. kind of because it's such a big wide market in the, in, the, in Brighton. So is that where you were kind of heading, like you were getting yourself into kind of uh, stickier yeah. stuff and I. So what happened? How did you obviously come back up the road and then? How did it, where do you go next? How do you move move on next? Where does that take you? More, more geographicals, do you know what I mean? I ended up back up here after Brighton, um, homeless accommodation again, um, and I had a pal doing in uh, Wolverhampton, um, and I ended up going to meant to be going down to see him for a couple of weeks in the summer. Aye. Went down there, and I met. My oldest wee boys more when I was down there. That's it. And then ended up Stained, down it? there for <laughs> three and a half years or something. Aye. And that's kind of, that's when things really, Aye, really, really off. got bad. You know what I mean? At first I was working and all that, had a job. Um, had mm -hmm. She had a, a wee lassie already, so I had like a wee stepdaughter. Mm -hmm. Was going to work, everything was mm -hmm. all right. Do you know what I mean? Um, she she was not like she didn't take drugs or anything mm -hmm. like that. She barely even had a wee drink or anything. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it was just, but obviously me being me, it's like uh, that's, that's wanting that. Doesn't it take long to get I mean? involved. I to get involved in stuff and uh, through a job that I was working in, um, I started taking painkillers and stuff like that, and that's when I had like my first physical Aye. addiction to Aye. to any kind of substance, do you know what I mean? But was that an opiate pain killer? Opiate opiate based pain killer, aye. aye, and then for that went on to uh, heroin substitute mm -hmm. uh, subutex mm -hmm. um, and my, my my bright idea at the time was I'll get off that by starting taking heroin. Aye. You know what I mean, because I, 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 I know you. I know. I. I know. I. I. That was where I was hiding at the no, time. No, I, I'll get off that because I only need to do a wee bit of it, aye. and that'll be easy to come off and kind of. Aye. that, that's when when the problem started. You know, I went for smoking a wee bit of it, aye. Um, and a joint. Aye. To within a couple of months injecting. Aye. Um, so was it quite a rapid kind of? Oh, like. So, the, the, again, pure madness, obviously, she started noticing, like, the smell and stuff mm -hmm. like that, yeah, right? So my best thinking was, because I'd been, like, mm -hmm. obviously, um, like, kind of grafting in that again, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I'd be going and seeing other addicts who are using and mm -hmm. stuff like that, do you know what I mean? And I'd seen them, and I'd seen how quick and easy it was, and do you know Aye. what I mean? It's like, um, neat, neat. So she was noticing the smell. Aye. So I thought, oh, I'll just I'll just start injecting. Do you know what I mean? By this time, it. I had a habit anyway. Aye, there was no using that to come off it. I was aye. all right. Do you know what I mean? Well, I, I thought I was all aye. right. Um, it kind of seemed all right for the outside. Do you know what I mean? I was functioning aye. Um, to an extent. And for that, you know, three months, I'm pure. Like, do you know, like she's starting to notice. Aye. Um, I'm no really you can't hide it at that stage, no, can you? know, it's, no. it's, it's, you get to the stage. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I've seen people being able to function, but what you're essentially doing is you're shutting your whole nervous system off, you're shutting up your, any kind of love that you can you can give is Aye. all away. Do you know what I mean? You're losing a lot of feelings you're, because this is what that you obviously know yourself, how the opiates work. And so, she'll be noticing even behavioral stuff yep. and, and all this kind of stuff. Do you know Aye. what I mean? Um, so see if I can kind of just look at the the whole kind of geographic thing. Then was it was it just dead similar stuff happening through the UK? Could you see like similarities, or, or, or is there different pockets where no, that's fucking well worse, or that's worse? And, and do you know what I'm talking about? It was like Brighton a lot worse than Wales and Northern it's, Ireland, and it's no. So Northern Ireland's very different, as I said at okay, the start, just because, because it's of that. just because of that. You know, Aye. like new. Obviously, I've still got pals in that area. Aye. New it is getting a bit Aye. mere. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Kind of similar to like mainland UK Aye. and stuff like that. But back then, when I was there, that was different. But I, do you know, the only thing that's different is 
is the price of drugs for it. Do you know what Aye. I mean? It's the same kind of, the same, same, same behaviours, same you know what I mean? problem. And, and maybe different substances will be, will be more popular in, in different Aye. areas, do you know what I mean? In different cities and stuff like that, do you know what I Was mean? Was there any place that surprised you? Like, with substances, like, wow, I've not seen that here, or... Do you know what I mean? Like like Brighton, I've heard like this, I don't know, but I, I, you can get crystal meth now, do not there? Ah, is yeah, that right? Yeah, you can get all that. That's quite. It's a lot of party, party Aye. drugs and stuff like that. Doing there, crystal meth, cat, uh, G, you know that GHB as well. That's that's really really big. quite popular doing there. Aye, aye. Because when you were, you were, I would I, I done a drug away on the school the other day, and I was fucking honestly shocked at how easy it is to get access to drugs these days and we were kind of talking about snapchat earlier and i've not got snapchat so I, I was and what worries me is it's with the kids man it's like the age it's like as you say when we when we were growing up and i know you're you're a couple of your younger me dad's a bit um when we were growing up it was like it was very and you would go to the pub and you'd see guys if they were using cocaine or whatever it would go to the toilet it was very much hidden do you know Aye. what i mean it, it was in your face but it was hidden do you know what i mean um no, it's like really in your face. Like as you say, as we were talking about earlier, you can go on Instagram and you can write in any drug you want, and you can get access right. to it within two seconds, can't you? So I was even me and my pal were having this conversation the other day, walking through the town. Right? See, back in the day, like when I was first started smoking hash and that, you would go somewhere and Aye. smoke a joint, right? See, now you're walking through the town and pure smell, just it. everywhere. It's <laughs> just like, do you know what I mean? It's just become a pure. Normalized. socially acceptable thing mm -hmm. and I think that's exactly the same way with the coke do you know what Aye. I mean it's just a pure normal it's just normalised you know what I mean it's, it comes hand in hand Aye. with people going out to have a drink and stuff like that now for, for the majority of people I it's not especially young ones it's but I, what was the frightening thing that I was hearing on this drug awareness course is like in schools <clears throat> some of the kids are know why he went to the toilets because Aye. it's getting used for cocaine and stuff now that was certainly no my Aye. i never seen it like school and i don't think a lot of people at my age would have seen that at school do you know what i mean it was again it was very much if you were going to go and smoke hash you would go away or like the road there'd be a row of bushes Aye. or something you'd bushes set up for buckets, a bucket kit or whatever, do you know what i mean it would be <laughs> but you wouldn't have been sitting in a fucking toilet in a Aye. school you, like but apparently there's vapes and stuff now for the wains and it, they're packeted um for the wains and stuff which i just think kids are sacred man like i just like growing up if, if i if i'd ever if i took drugs and I'd went to a, a drug dealer and I'd said, like, um, gonna give me a half ounce of smack. He'd have booted me up the boys and went, yeah, I'm going to tell your big cousin you're trying to take that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like, that's where there was a kind of code. I, it's as if it's just the young ones, I don't know what, they're just nay, nay code there. No, 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 it's just, it's kind of eradicated. Aye, it's, it's just like everybody, aye. you know what I mean? It's, and no. you were saying about the emojis and that, that was the thing that got me is how they were all using emojis and that, but um, ho like I, 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 hopefully they are getting that, ready that an algorithm for the for the kids, you know what I mean? Because it was too easy to access. And I says, I actually brought it up to the guy, I says, so what is it they're doing like when you drive up? Because obviously there's drop half stuff and they were dropping stuff off, right? So guys were like, um, kids at 14 and that were phoning for crack cocaine, right? And guys were dropping it half to them. And I'm like, surely if you pull up to a motor and you seen it was a 14 year old, you'd go, I'm not giving you that. Aye. But that's not there anymore. Do you know what I mean? I think people are just willing to, I mean, kids shouldn't be getting exposed to the kind of drugs dads at that age. Do you know what I mean? It's, no, definitely. If when you're 20, 21, you maybe make your own decisions and you go down a road, but uh, that yeah. at that age when you're experimenting and whatever it, that is too young to be uh, bringing in drugs like that do you know what i mean for, for, uh, um I, but i don't know so um i'll take you obviously how did you manage to kind of move on to the kind of musical scene then because obviously it's quite a big you're obviously in the midst of chaos addiction what do you do do you, do you try and come after yourself a few times or 
So I'd obviously doing in, when I was doing in Birmingham, you know, that's when I was saying me, I ended up homeless and stuff where Wolverhampton, homeless, Birmingham. And this is a rapid descent. I pay for them. I'm, in, I'm getting, I'm in and out of the jail, do you know aye. what I mean? Constantly. Aye. And I'd go into the jail, right? And I'd get detoxes and I'd come out of the jail, right? Aye. And I'd be on the phone to the Wayne's Mall, that's it, I'm done, that's Aye. boom. See, as soon as I got to the gates and I had that Aye. lib grant in my hand or there was somebody Aye. getting libbed with me, it's like, Aye. I'll get a wee one before I go home. She won't know. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Aye, I, deserve, Aye. I deserve it. I've been Aye. in here Aye. for Aye. three, Aye. six months, whatever Aye. I've been for, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, and then boom, back in that cycle again. You know I mean, back in the house, three years, lying Aye. there, folded there a chair, get out. Right, back, back to back again. out on the street. Um, and and did, did you get a few chances with the veins, man? I, like, I, I done I, that constantly, do you know, and I didn't, I didn't know anything about. So see, getting like clean for mm -hmm. me would just be stopping taking mm -hmm. two things that I've seen as problematic. Do you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about things that I could do to get clean. Do you know, mm -hmm. rehabs I thought were for. People, I've not got the money to go to a rehab, how am I mm -hmm. going to, you know what I mean? That's, I'm, I'm just, and then mm -hmm. start to buy into that, what everybody's telling you, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you've done so much wrongs to mm -hmm. people, do you know what I mean? You've you kind of isolated yourself from the rest of society, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you buy into that idea that I'm a scumbag, I'm this, mm -hmm. I'm that, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, it's... A, it's Obviously, the prison system as well. Like uh, we go know quite a lot about the prison system, and look, there is changes. Natalie, Cisco, and all that, and uh, like big Kevin Cabri up at Low Moss, and there, there is things changing. Do you know what I mean? People are trying to implement stuff, and um, but it's a slow process. Do you know what I mean? And it's hard. But what did you find in prison? Was there anything that for you? Did you? I mean, you're even talking about you didn't even know was was, was recovery well, a thing in prison? No, I was. So I was in the jail down in Birmingham, Aye. right? I've not... So G4S jail's down there, right? I've never... Wild. Oh, you would... See the amount of stuff that I've seen in there and what no. was going on in there and... Ah, yeah, like, mental. Aye. Mental, you would... When was your last sentence, Daza? When was the last time you were in? So, I'm 34 now, I think it was 28 when I last... I 28 or something when I done my last. It was sentence. a private prison in that, didn't it? Aye, G4S, man. Like, there's a, I, I know. They're, they're just loaded, wouldn't they? Ah, I mean, it's their drug. And I think it's trying to explain Lenore how how a couple of months in the jail can normalise that to you. Not the, and the violence that you see, um, the drug taking, we talk about the trauma that that leaves. We've spoken about it loads of times, the trauma and that, and the lasting trauma that that leaves on you. But you don't see it that way because the life you're living, as you say, you're that's, living. That's just, that's just normal, do you know, I know what I mean? That's just what every, so you, you do, everybody around you, they, so it's like, it just becomes normal, do you know what I mean? Like, see, and I tell maybe if I'm, Tell my mom or something a story who's never been in that life. Like, pure mortified. I'm just like, I know, I know, I know. Like, I know. 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 So I've said it before as well. I, I can be on a setting as well with my family, and you'll say something and all, and it's just not. <laughs> and you think you're saying it's normal, they're like, oh, Sean, but as it's a. Uh, what was the what, what kind of things were you seeing in there, Daza? Like what kind of things were we seeing in the jails? Like like right violent incidents and drug taking and, and aye, a aye. lot of bullying and that and aye. stuff. Aye. A lot of that. Aye, aye. a lot of, a lot of people getting spiked with Spice illegal and that. that aye, and like for a laugh. For a laugh I know. Seen the amount of iPhones and all that that's in there as well. And aye. Like, it's no thing, me. I mean, you can go, you can literally go on YouTube now, man, and watch aye. all the jail videos, boys for the jail, just. Talking normal. I mean, when I was in the jail and that phones were about and all that, and they were well hidden, you know, they, they weren't they, like, people are just on live TikToks now. Ah, I said, 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 ah, But, so was the jail a big thing? Did that, did that hurt you, Daz, or do you think, or do you think you were already kind of... Do you know what, see, at that point? Aye. Like, it was a bit of respite. Aye. Do you know what I mean? At that point, it was just like, I'll go in here, I'll get a bit of weight on, I'll just, you know what I mean? Aye. But then I'd go in there and I'd meet people and, like, you know, 
network and there was a, there was a period of time where I was going in for three months out for a week Aye. back in for six do you know what I mean there this period of time and I ended up meeting people that were were doing longer sentences do you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, and kind of got in parley with them do you know mm-hmm. what I mean I ended ended up doing a re- this is how mental my thinking mm-hmm. in that was at the time right obviously I'm homeless and that mm-hmm. right I didn't have anything going I'm, I'm an Aye. addict do you know what I mean um, and uh, I kind of fell in with these boys right and um, it turned out that the recall on my, my sentence would only have been two weeks right mm-hmm. to go back in and do it Aye. I'd only get recalled so came up with a great idea that I was get out get loaded up with a parcel and do a dummy shoplift and he go back in uh-huh. and get paid for it. Uh-huh. And I done it and he paid me and uh-huh. that, right? But see, now when I sit back and think of that, I'm like, why is it just, I know. Like, just get two weeks of your life away for, for no, £1,800 or something? Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Something I you're stupid. It was you're like, just going to scud like, in a week nah, that, 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 was, I know. that probably end up, for, do you know what I mean? I gone know. with, aye. I know. No, and that's just the sad reality is when that's, when you're at the like that kind of lowest point in addiction, that is where I don't I think the society don't understand how desperate you become. Do you know what I mean? And it's not even desperate, it's just that you, you start believing what society are telling you, yeah. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And and you start just believing, well, where else did where else? I'm no good at anything else. Do you know what I mean? I'm a candidate anything else and so when did you how, how did you get your thinking to start changing? What clicked were you? What clicked? So it took a kind of while. I ended up hospitalised down in England um, with blood clots and, and uh, septicemia. Um, and I didn't have, like, anybody, you know, they needed an extra kin and stuff like that. I didn't, I hadn't spoke to any of my Aye. family for a long time. Um, the hospital got in touch with uh, my Wayne's ma and my ma. And as I, I was in the hospital for two weeks and I was going to get discharged and like, where are you going to go? Um, and kind of in this time I've, I've got a wee detox kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and came up with the idea to come back up to Scotland. Mm-hmm. Um, I came back up to Scotland and got introduced to uh, like 12-step fellowship mm-hmm. recovery. Um, and it's the first time I'd ever heard of like abstinence and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It's the first time I'd ever seen anything like that. I went in, man, and there's all these. It's mad, isn't it, that you've spent that amount of time but on the streets, like and about like serious addiction, like the and that's a, you just hearing about it. Ah. Do you know what I mean? It's mad, isn't it? Ah, like ah. how you would think that would be in your face all the yeah. time. Like there'd be people pushing that, do you know what I mean? But um so I so sorry that I so you uh, you come up in then yeah. I I had tried stuff before, but it was just like going on on scripts and stuff like that. And see, half the time I wasn't. That was just like if I could half-hearted. Ah, if I could get, I I would patch going to the chemist. Do you know what I mean? Go and do. But you know, it was just Mm -hmm. to keep other people happy. It was never really for me because I wasn't at that point where I hit rock bottom. Do you know what I mean? It was just to get like. Uh, Wayne's more off my back, whatever like that, do you know what I mean? I keep her quiet, go and do this, Aye. do you know what I mean? It was never really for myself, do you know, but by the time I've ended up in hospital, I've been through all that, do you know, it's like sleeping on streets, begging, Aye. do you know what I mean? Aye. Anything for a tenner. Um, I was I was ready to try something, I came back up, Aye. introduced the fellowship, would go there, would get kind of couple of mums clean, think, get a wee job, I would get to start seeing my Wayne again, do you know what I mean? Aye. And I'd be like, oh, I'm all right, I'll not go back there or whatever, Aye. do you know what I mean? Because I had never really done any work as well, do you know what I mean? I'd never really looked into it and looked into Aye. myself and tried to speak about Aye. traumas mm-hmm. and speak about, you know... Critically analyse yourself. Aye, 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 and stuff. Do you know? I'd never, I'd had all this stuff kept in. Do you know? Like, I'm not telling anybody that. Not, I'm not saying that. That's aye. not. I mean, I can't tell people I've felt aye. like this. Aye. Keeping all that to myself. Do you know? Because you're mean? a guy, I know. And you, like we're terrible for it. Like I had never, and I know what I talk about it, and and as you say, suppressing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, 
Where so who who was it that can you remember? Like obviously can't say name, but can, can you remember that when the moment was that you kind of were introduced to the twelve steps? Aye, so I walked into a a, a fellowship meeting, um, and um, I was like, well, God on the walls, it's <laughs> in a church, <laughs> and they didn't none of them look like they took drugs. Aye. I'm like, this is the wrong place. Aye. Then people were coming up and cuddling me and all that, and I was like, oh, my God, man. What an like um, And then I sat down, the guy started talking, and he was in a suit and all that, right? I just never took drugs, man. I can't see, you know Aye. what I mean? And he started talking, and the guy was 20 odd year clean, and he was, in a, he was a therapist in a rehab as Aye. well. He just came along to share that night. Um, and. Um, a, he spoke and I found he used like me. He went to the same lengths as me, do you know Aye. what I mean? He'd been and he changed his life, do you know what I mean? And he this was him sitting there now. But do you know what as well, like see what I'd never really heard anybody talking about is all these mad like feelings Aye. and how and how they think and stuff like that, do you know, and like the connectedness at all. Aye, how like how they feel and how they think Aye. and stuff like that. It's like guys talking about all oh, they feel like that. You can't go in and tell your mate you're sitting there just using and oh mate, I'm feeling a wee bit low today. I'm feeling a bit depressed. Guys <laughs> and get out, do you know what I mean? That's it Aye, when yeah. you're in that. But hearing people speak like that, it's like right. So I would go there and I'd get thirty days, sixty days job and I'd go back out and I'd use and I'd do that for about a year or something. Um and kind of through that, I, I got uh, an introduction to a rehab. Um, and that was the first time that um, mm -hmm. I got clean. Um, back in 2019, I went into rehab, was in there there, COVID. Um, spent a year in there, left there. Was a year clean when I left. Um, but when I left, I ended up getting into a relationship. She got pregnant very quickly. Um, and I like obviously st struggle with that kind of relationship right. thing, you know. Um, it's hard to kind of stuff for the past and stuff like that right. comes up, feelings come up, right. you know. And I wasn't really dealing with them, do you know what right. I mean? Um, and my son was born, I said, I got, I got two years clean, my son was born. Mm. And after the wayne was born, it just I didn't know I didn't know what to do, do you know what I mean? I was pure in a place as well where I'd back myself into a corner, see, because I'd been this long clean. Mm -hmm. I believed in my head that I couldn't tell anybody that I was thinking this way or Aye. I was feeling like this or this was going on for me. Aye. Just oh I should I've been in rehab for a year. I've been Aye. you know what I mean, I've Aye. done this, I've done that. I should be able to deal with this. Keep aye. telling myself, tell myself, tell myself. I see you're putting that pressure on yourself in another way now. Like, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Um, and eventually it just got too much and I ended up relapsing. Um, and just just there two years clean, 26 months or something I was. Brilliant, but well done. Um, and I was out the door for for 13 months. Um, and in that period of time, like, see that place where I was when... I was doing in England before mm -hmm. I got hospitalised on the streets. Mm -hmm. I was right back into that place. But even worse, because I knew that there was a different way, do you know what I mean? I had this different life, I had all this stuff, right? And I'd let it go. Aye. But I was too, felt too much embarrassed. Shame, guilt. Guilt, do you know what I mean? Pure, like, what have I done? Mm -hmm. People told me so. Blood, all that, do you know what I mean? Nonsense in my head, and I bought into lie, and I bought into lies. I beat yourself up into yep. it for, but you're beating yourself up for essentially something that um, you you, you can't change. Do you know what I mean? And this is what you always talk, see guys who have managed to do what you've done and managed to get sober through twelve steps. And I always say, I don't, I'm no twelve steps myself, but the best model of recovery I've ever seen is a twelve step program. Do you know what Aye. I mean? It's it's the best model, and it all set your best for your life do you know what i mean like if if and that i always say that i always can't i'm a big promoter of that i've got a few friends 
who are in that and um, they, they're flying Daza, do you know what I mean? Kind of similar to yourself. So you're on the streets and is this, is this went both like, are you right back to like Aye, I'm in and out every hostel in, in Glasgow, do you know what I mean? Um, I'm picking up Polish charges again, do you know Aye. what I mean? I've still got something outstanding now that, Aye. that for back then, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's like, but, can, but you can deal with it now, eh? Ah, like, like yeah, you, yeah. And, and if, if the worst comes to the worst, then you do need to go and do it. Like, and hopefully don't, and hopefully won't. But if the worst comes, you've got these tools now, and, and I think you're in a much stronger position. Do you know what I, I try and say? I think, see, the life that you've lived is in, in, in being in jail and in and out, and all, it's, it steals all your confidence and all your, uh, your self-worth and, and your kind of self-esteem. They get eroded so quickly. Right. And then... Trying to build that back up takes a long, long time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But once you've got it, and you've got it, I think it's a bit easier to kind of maybe get back if that takes if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Um, so right, I have so we've got something something outstanding you now, and so that's happened. Um, and I'm just like I got to a point where I'm back. I'm begging outside Central Station. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Sitting with a cup, people I know for fellowship and that. He'd done trying to avoid them coming up to me, but never just felt too embarrassed to Aye. go back. Felt like I felt like I'd failed at it. Do you know what I mean? It was the same again, another relationship failed, another Wayne that I've no, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? No, Aye, no, there for all that kind of stuff. So it's like, see all that stuff that you was we were saying earlier, like society leads you to believe and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm back believing that my, about myself, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm back thinking that, like, it's no for me. And wanting to die, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Wanting to die, but no having the bottle to, to commit suicide, just hoping if I take it or not, take the right, you know what I mean? Aye. Well, the rang, but the right aye, in that aye. mind frame, I mean, do you know aye. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'll no wake up. And I ended up going, into the, uh, the crisis centre and just doing it mm -hmm. Tradeston, um, and I was in there and I ended up getting rushed to the hospital for in there mm -hmm. um, and I had uh, sepsis and three abscesses on one of my, my, uh, one of my arteries mm -hmm. uh, in, in my leg mm -hmm. and it was lucky to, lucky to be alive see when I came in for the surgery on my leg the, the surgeon was like how you survived this with the lifestyle that you've been living in the condition that your body's in Aye. I don't know do you know mm. what I mean but you need to you need to make a change because you'll no be lucky Aye. next time and kind of for that I ended up in the hospital for a month after that I was on IV antibiotics for about three weeks or something mm -hmm. uh, could, couldn't could move through the bed to the toilet do you know mm. what I mean but for that see all these people that I'd been running about with for X amount of time. None of them came around and seen me, do you know what I mean? It was yeah. all people for recovery and stuff like that. People that I hadn't seen because they didn't have, they weren't going to give me money to go and get I mad know. with it, do no. you know what I mean? So it's like, what the catch you, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it was all them that were coming up, visiting me and stuff like that. And and kind of, I started speaking to, to my mom and stuff again like that. And kind of, I don't know, got a wee bit of hope and a wee bit of belief. Um, Do you think it would be a wake-up call, maybe? Like, a wee, like, as in, I don't want to die here. So this is this is what I say uh, all the time, right? So, see, as much as like, I'd thought that I wanted to die and all that, see, after maybe a week of being in hospital and thinking how lucky I am, and then actually people coming up and showing, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. people show me a wee bit, of, wee bit of care, a wee bit of love. Uh, me, me no... And I'm not expecting it. I'm kind of getting mm. a wee bit of clarity as well. Cause mm. Obviously, I was still on prescription meds and stuff Aye. like that, but I'm no pure the way Probably. that I was, Aye. do you know what I mean? Getting a wee bit of hang, maybe, maybe it's like, I can do this again. Maybe it's no, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Things could be all right. And uh, I got assessed for another rehab and stuff, and I got funding and stuff like that for this Probably. rehab. Um, and... I ended up leaving the hospital and was in supported accommodation for about a month while I went and waited to get into the rehab, but that was abstinence based as well. So mm -hmm. um was doing my best to to try I and think in rehab is is you do a lot of work on yourself, Daz, yeah. didn't you? 
you do a lot of work on why you're thinking the way you're thinking, yeah. trauma, like different things, like shame, guilt, all this kind of stuff that that you'd, you'd never learn about yeah. in the jail or on the street. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what gives you that bit of hope, isn't it? The spark. So that's the thing. See the this the rehab that I went into just to get clean. Aye. Um, that's no mm -hmm. a twelve step. Aye. Based rehab. Do you know what I mean? It's it's a like a kind of CBT mm -hmm. model mm -hmm. of stuff like that. So. See all the stuff that I hadn't really spoke about and hadn't really dealt with and hadn't really looked at and stuff like that. I've kind of had the chance to address mm. and look at that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Where, Aye. where I didn't, you know, um, I've kind of um, no fell away from the twelve step model mm -hmm. of recovery, but I don't see that as as being it, do you know, mm. there's other other kind of ways, do you know what I mean? Certainly oh, what you certainly yes, what you said and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it is it's proven to be the most successful aye, aye, model definitely. and stuff like that and the best results mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I've got uh, other good things come out of aye. work that I've done that's that's C B T kind of based aye. and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? I th I think very addiction um there's no one way. It's, I think we, that's where we're getting rang. I think we need to individualise um, recovery. We need to, indiv everybody's different. Everybody yep. will take on. Some people don't want to be abstinent. Absence is a scary word to a lot of people. So some people may be going, I don't want that. And, and, and you need to work with people. And even if abstinence is their goal, and you know that's their goal, you can't use that at that time because it's, it's something that's scary. Aye. Do you know what I mean? You need to let them come to that realisation theirself. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's the, where we can go wrong sometimes is by going, this is the way. Like, it's, it's even like spiritual stuff, this is the way. Yeah. And you're like, I, let me find my own way. Do you know what uh, I mean? I'll find my own feet. And if 12 steps is the way, it's the way. If this is the way, it's the way. And so, what was it kind of, have you got your own kind of model, Daz, or is, is it kind of be bit of everything? Or? I just, a uh, bit, bit of everything, really. Aye. Do you know what I mean? I Like, I don't. The CBT obviously mentioned that, so you're a big fan of that, like the, the, like how learning how you're thinking and aye, that's aye. been good. To see some of the work and stuff that I've done through mm -hmm. that, you know, to look at look at the past and stuff like that, you know, as well, kind of how of how one event has then triggered off other stuff, mm -hmm. but then look at into the roots of that and where it comes from, you know what I mean, and what. Aye. What brings that up? What's Aye. made me feel like that? So Aye. what? Do you know what I mean? All that Aye. kind of stuff. Looking at all that's been Aye. been really good. Do you know what I mean? Because you could people, I don't think people realise, especially when your self esteem is that so low. I could say like something to you dies, and then two days later the feelings come, Aye. and you're going, where the fuck? Why, why, why am I feeling this? But you forgot about that thing that we said two days ago. Do you know what I mean? And I think like CBT, you know, that helps you realise that, like. Look, I think the CBD what was the red zone, the green zone, and the kind of middle bit, and it's like you, you can when you're in the life that, that we we've lived, you're jumping straight for the red zone into the green zone sometimes, yeah. and then right back in the red zone, you're missing that middle bit all the time. Aye. Do you know what I mean? And, and and actually, that's the middle bit where you can process and yeah. regulate your emotions. Do you know what I mean? Uh, in that other hyper vigilant state, you're you're never going to regulate nothing, and then when you're doing and you're using and stuff you're just blocking everything yeah. out do you know what I mean so I you're never actually you getting yeah. into the middle I bit do you know what I mean yeah um not a fascinating story for recovery and again absolutely proud of you man so proud of you that's like a fucking brilliant story of recovery man and uh, you look you don't even look as if you've touched a drug mate Everybody honestly you look great that. honestly um absolutely amazing but so right we'll, we'll move on to the kind of music scene um so how did how did you get involved with that how did that come about so this is it kind of ties into what we were just Aye. saying there so um obviously the the rehab that i was in um they were running like a uh a, a hip-hop workshop on a monday night through the glasgow barons um a guy called johnny cypher um glasgow rapper does a lot of community work and stuff like that as well um he was coming in and i was like because in the in the morning they put your yeah, hip-hop group i was like what's that never heard it before so like, ah, i'll do that but 
it's weird because I don't, I'd been listening to rap music all my life, do you know what I mean? And I was kind of in there and I'm coming after my detox and stuff like that and I was a bit struggling so I'd been writing wee bits anyway, mm-hmm. right? And he's come in and he's just ex- outlined what they're going to be doing there. So he's like, ah, this is the plan. We're going to do some work, some exercises. But I went through it. We'll do some exercises to kind of get you comfortable with writing. Then we're going to look mm-hmm. at recording. You've some, been doing some of this stuff, stuff already, but... And, I, and then I says, hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. And I went and got the stuff I'd been aye. writing. And he's like, okay, this is quite good. Aye, and aye. Like, when can I record it? And he's like... <laughs> oh, we need to do this, right? And I'm like, so every week, it's like, when can I record this? When can <laughs> I record this? So eventually it got into recording. Um, and I got on and I recorded it and just like, uh, everybody in there was like, that's so good, that's so good. So kind of... Give you a wee lift? I kind of feel that because I kind of got recorded quite early on. I was then helping other people to Aye. write wee bits and bobs in there and stuff like that. And I started just doing other stuff and... I kept in touch with, with Johnny when I left right. um, and I said to him, I'd like to put out a video for, for this, mm-hmm. this track. And he's like, right. Um, and he put me on to his pal, uh, mm-hmm. who does all my videos, uh, Thomas the Search Engine, Tam mm-hmm. Curry. Um, he does all my, my videos Aye, that are videos. on my channel and stuff like that. Um, and obviously just to be shout it for your channel, which the channel does uh, is Daz a JFT, YouTube, Daz a JFT on all socials. Where does JFT come from? Just for today. Just um, for today. that's a recovery thing, you know. I, I put that in my name then, right? But she kinda I never expected this to go how it's kinda went, Aye. do you know what I mean? I just wanted to put that Aye. video out, do you know, like and just Did you know it was gonna get this kind of big kinda as see, I, I kinda see where it went, do you know <laughs> what I mean? And it's kinda just Blew, no blew mm. up, but it's kind of ta- taken off, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I don't want to just, when see with the JFT, it's like, I don't want to just be known as that rapper that's in no, recovery, no. do you know I what I mean? No, I think no, um, no. So, I'm think, like, I've been speaking about it for a while. So we're rebranding the day. Aye, aye, <laughs> just that's a, just that's a, aye, that's uh, So... What, what, what kind of influences? Because I love, I, I like rap. I'm no great as I write, but I like Tupac and I like like kind of your old Biggie and I, I like Horem. Do you know what I mean? And uh, who's who's your influences? Who who was your influences? So kind of like obviously growing up, and that it was like listening to like kind of Eminem, Tupac, Aye. Biggie, Fifty Cent, Nas, or that. Do you know that? Like, and then kind of as I got to like. 15, 16, Grime Aye. came about, like, JME, Skepta. Uh, kind of English-based. Lethal B, I, 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 all I. English kind of stuff, and then it's kind of progressed in that. But probably biggest, like, influence and in, in person that I, I probably like and relate to the most would be, like, Pot of Paper, an English rapper. Aye. Um, aye. It's probably most. I've not heard him, but... Um, aye. As, as I say, I'm so out of touch with, with that kind of scene, and... And is he kind of is that who is he, he the kind of who who's kind of influenced you like uh, with your writing style and, and stuff like that or is, have you got your own style? I was kind of I'm just me. I see if I like the beat, <laughs> I'll, I'll write to it. Aye. Do you know what I mean? If I like the beat, I'll write. I'll write something to Aye. it. So um, kind of the start. Obviously, I kind of wanted to get out kind of feelings and how mm-hmm. I felt and where I'd been and where it take me to, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Without kind of glorifying it, do you know, if you listen to kind of like my first first two or mm-hmm. three tunes. Um, so if, the one I listened to was like you were talking about injecting and stuff. Um, you're kind of under a bridge, blue jacket. So that's that's my, that's that's actually the track. Uh, that disease addiction. I actually record. Well, actually yeah. record. That's the one I recorded Aye. in in rehab. I thought that was excellent. I really enjoyed listening. To that. Um, and then obviously a couple of other tunes, and it is very powerful. I think because of the place it's coming from, it, it, and then and actually where the is it's all real stuff that you're talking about. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Very real stuff. So what is the Scottish rap scene like? I mean, I've listened, as I say, there's that, that, that boy Sherlock, uh, somebody sent me a video, he, he's really good, and I think he's related to, like, a lassie from my bit, Aye. Vaughan. Um, he seems really good. Um, the boy Kelly, uh, Danny, Danny Kelly, Aye. really good. So what, 
what is it? What's happening on the this? Because it seems to be kind of lift. There, uh, there is a kind of lift with the Scottish rap. Aye, it's it's it's, certain, it's getting bigger and it's growing, but it's it's growing in Scotland really only. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like um, we all need to push each other, kind of thing, because you don't. I think it's because of the accent and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Like when you you look at like Mog, who's mm-hmm. been about for years, lyrically. He's up there with any of the best rappers in the UK, mm-hmm. but I think it's because of the accent and stuff. But then you could go on the other side of it, right? See if he didn't use the accent that he uses, right? Mm-hmm. Some of the words wouldn't rhyme Aye. and fit how they do, so it's mm-hmm. got this own unique style, but because it's in a Scottish accent, it doesn't mm-hmm. get recognised, you know It wouldn't what I mean? be authentic either, if you were no, exactly. on and you were like, do you know no, what I mean? No, I don't, so, I'm no into all mad, that. I'd be mad, like, uh, try to put an American accent on. D- there's right? a lot, there's, there's boys that are Scottish that put on dummy English accents, aye. do you know what I mean? That's, that's all right if they want to do aye. that, but it wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be me, if you're putting on a fake accent, then what... You rap, what you're rapping about is that fake or not? Do you I know, know what I mean? You can't eat, do you know what I mean? And I think, obviously, when you're looking, like, i seen that the, the one that sticks in mind is Danny Kelly's kind of one with the, the Luke Mitchell one that i seen, that, which was a great, great uh, track that he done. And um, But I think Scotland have never been too... See, do you know this? And I used to honestly think this. I don't know who you think that is. You might know this because I'm moving about a bit more, right? See, in Glasgow, there's a thing, right, where it's like we don't have a lot of kind of confidence in ourselves, right, and you get gumped a lot, if you know what I mean. Like, as in, if you, if you I'm, I'm going to do a bit of rapping, like, well, how do you think you'll know that? Like, I, is that, because, I, I mean, it's as if, like, I don't know, it's just that I, 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 just, I remember people used to do, like, MCing and stuff, and people would come like, she's a fucking bam, and that. And it's <laughs> that Glasgow thing, that Glasgow, like, uh, like, like is, do you think that's a thing, or, or no. is, that, is that kind of disappearing a wee bit now? And oh, obviously, you get you get that, but I think that's just like, just that, that's just Scottish and Glasgow banter, isn't Aye. it? Like that kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Aye. I don't think that's the, 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 the reason? Aye, aye, I just think... You think it's purely the accent? I think that's what it is, the accent thing, because, right, you look at, like, Liver- so Scouse rap, right, Liverpool mm-hmm. rap, that's been about for years, years and years before mm-hmm. it got popular. It's only been in the last kind of five, six years mm-hmm. that that started, like, taking really, off, really taking right? off where you're seeing people up there that mm-hmm. are... And that's, that was, like, an accent thing, do you know what I mean? So is it all kind of... Is all, if, like, all your kind of big ones that I would know, like Stormzy and, and all these people using Skepta and, and uh, all these people, are they, are they all London based? Uh, Stormzy, Skepta, London, aye, aye. aye. So you got like London, Birmingham, Manchester, they were the three. Kind of big the ones. The three, three main, do you know what I mean? Liverpool's kind of getting up there, do you know what I mean? Um, and then and is Scotland just no, do you just not get invited anywhere or, or is it just that he's a tra- What's it? What, what is it? Is it? What's the? What's the block then? It's it's just really hard. I think just because of the. I think it's just because of the accent thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Um, people don't don't Take really that. notice it. Do you know what I mean? There's Scots, some Scottish artists like you spoke about Sherlock, mm-hmm. McCroy, Mog. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Been years, just as good mm-hmm. lyrically, flow delivery, mm-hmm. everything, just as good as other people in the UK mm-hmm. and haven't they got kind of out with Scotland, mm-hmm. haven't they really got the recognition that I think they should deserve anyway, do you know what I mean? No, and obviously it, it's it's hard though, it is hard that accent barrier and um, is there any, is there anything coming up, is there anything happening where you're trying to kind of move out, like you, so, do your own thing, get together? Just you, that's, I so um, that's what we're, we're my... Uh, one of my pals, NK, he's got a uh, Take Risks Records. He's putting on. He's starting putting on shows, um, and he's starting to invite rappers from out with Scotland to perform on these shows. Uh, we've got one next week. Um, because it's like it's a, it's, it's a very um, unique challenge, isn't it? In the way that, how do you get over it? Do you know what I mean? And the only thing is coming together. I think that's it. Just come together and make enough noise, and people people will hear you. Do you know what I mean? Um, my my pa- So I have came quite pally with YB Young Bridal. Used to be called. Uh, he's been doing it a lot of years. Um, 
And he started, he was one of the first people when I released that disease addiction mm -hmm. tune. The first person actually in the whole Scottish rap scene to message me, mm -hmm. say congratulations uh, on your release and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And kind of for that, you know, just became pals, do you know what I mean? Aye. This was somebody that I used to listen to, do you know what I mean? Aye. Aye. We Aye. became Aye. pals, do you know what I mean? Aye. I talked to him every day and he's got me on board with um, this thing that he's doing it's a, a like a label on po on point media it's mm -hmm. a media channel and a label it's no for profit or anything basically mm -hmm. he started off um as a talent show on tiktok mm -hmm. and instagram and what's it called just to get a shout out on point media on point media I, um and it started off as a, a talent show on tiktok and instagram um and kind of for that you know what his original thinking was that it was just going to be rappers that mm -hmm. have been doing it years that would be coming on there and just kind of putting out new tunes that they're kind of doing or to mm -hmm. promo things and stuff like that. Here's a bit of this, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? But it, there's a lot of wee guys coming on, right, who are actually really, really good, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and they've never really had the opportunity to be able to go and record anything. Mm -hmm to be able to shoot videos. If they could record something, they've not been able to shoot videos. You know, they've never had a chance at any exposure to get kind out there. So kind of for that, um, YB came up with On Point Media and what he's doing is just, obviously he's got me on board. Um, he's got another boy that I do, tunes with Tribal mm -hmm. John on board. Um, and a lot of young, younger boys on Aye. board, you know what I mean? Um, it's just like trying to push and promote them and stuff like that because he's been doing it 10 mm -hmm. years you know he knows how hard it is in the scottish rap scene mm -hmm. um and like so he's just trying to give people an opportunity do you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's there's no any profit in it there's no any funding Aye. in it do you know what i mean it's like a channel for for, mm -hmm. the, for the people do you know what i mean um it's just uh, it's brilliant i mean it's an absolutely fabulous idea and i think that Way the way the kind of way social media is moving and the, and the amount of money that could be made in social media, right, and stuff like that, it's getting together on social media and having that platform that you can push each other, pushing each other's content, um, and kind of creating. I mean, look at you look at the rap the rap scene. If you look at the history, I mean, I remember watching thing and and it was all like New York. I think was like the kind of big where it all kind of kicked off, right. And a lot of these, the, I don't know where it is, if it's West Coast, bang, it might be West Coast, like, like California or not. They weren't really took serious for a long, long time until certain people come across and then started pushing that scene, do you know what I mean? Because they'll probably have accent and dialogue things that are going on that we wouldn't know about, do you know what I mean? We just listen in, it's a merit, but there will be stuff going on, do you know what yeah. I mean? And I'm pretty sure, if I, for the stuff I've watched anyway, that... There was problems with different accents in America, Texas, not that way and all that. I think they they wouldn't have had a chance away back because of the way they the way they speak. Do you know what I mean? It would it would have been it just wouldn't have been big because we it's America. We don't see it. So I think that these things are there to be broken. Yeah, that's you know I mean these, these these barriers are there to be smashed. And uh, I think anybody that's watching this should go and have a wee look at some like definitely Daza stuff and have a wee look at the Scottish trap scene. Do you know what I mean? Um, so obviously the, 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 you've got YB doing this and so where he's thinking about where he's seeing yourself like maybe next year next year uh, I know it's a hard I question got, but like where, I just, <laughs> where are you, where are you? I, do you know what right so I'd never I, I'd never have thought to where I'm at now with this do you know what I mean I don't like Wherever it goes, I'll be happy and grateful because I've already, like, you know, I don't want to keep, like, um, I'm trying to be humble about it. I don't want to keep raising the bar, but I do. Aye, do you know what I mean? Because I want to hang me, do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be humble about it there, man. Right? So, like, I've kind of set myself goals, right? And aye. so far, I've, I'm meeting meeting the goals, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? I said to myself, right, I put that tune out, right? Mm -hmm. I get a thousand views, right? Mm -hmm. Then it was get a thousand followers on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I've done that, right? I've surpassed mm -hmm. that. And then it's like get a collab with somebody who's been in the scene for a while. Mm -hmm. I've done that a few times, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? 
um, get on a show, get on a paid show, do you know? So it's just like, I've done, yeah, you're I've done that kind of thing, get on a, a, a Scottish uh, media channel, right. like a... a like a or, kind of label kind I of I already, I, so I, I mm -hmm. dropped a, something on 12.50 a few months ago. Um, I seen twelve fifty. No, what, what is that? I've seen because I seen that. What is it's twelve fifty? Just a kind of late. Is so it a it's a it's a studio and a, a channel. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, aye. And the boys is, is Scottish. If you've got like any talent, and you can kind of apply to go to twelve fifty, and they they'll kind of put your video on. Is that is that what it is? Aye, it costs money and stuff like that. You need to. Pay is it kind of like the? Oh, was it one in England? The the. the you go in and you rap free, you free freestyle. Eh. Oh, like, like plugged in with fumes and stuff aye, like stuff that. Like that. Aye, aye, no, aye. it's it's probably a bit like you need. I think with with fumes and stuff, like you need to be invited there right. to do that. Do you know, if you've kind of if you've got something you want to record in a video, you like obviously pay aye. pay and you can you can do it. Right. You know what I mean? Obviously there is a level of quality control and stuff like aye. that. Do you know what I mean? Aye. So is there is it uh, can you see like is it what is is there events coming up and So I so this is uh, that sort of saying my pal NK he started I think Take Risk Records as well. He's felt and done D. He's putting on a lot of shows. Um uh, and do you know that like it's it's kinda hard to get paid shows as well for, for Scottish mm -hmm. artists, especially if like myself who's just starting out, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um but he's 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 paying artists for the shows Aye, and stuff like man. that. So Aye. um got a show next week with with him in Aberdeen. Um obviously this will probably go after it so I um I know bother saying the date or anything Aye. like that. So um I, I can put it out but I can get a wee out hang out for it no. certainly on my my, my, my socials for you, Aye. you know what I mean? Well twenty second of June Aye. uh U G two in Just Aberdeen. Send it out, right? Um and there's a uh, there's artists coming up for England for that show as well. Um, some underground artists from England coming up. So it's a mix of Scottish and English artists. Um, the 29th, I've got um, a show down in Wrexham. Mm. So I'm actually going out with Scotland. I've been kind of talking to get involved with these. Uh, it's called CBT, Can't Be Tamed. Mm -hmm. um, and they're looking to start. So they've got like CBT South, CBT North, CBT Liverpool, CBT Dublin. Mm -hmm. And they asked me to get involved with a CBT Glasgow. So mm -hmm. it's like set, they'll be hoping to set up events and stuff in Glasgow, like gigs, uh, use rappers from here, rappers that we've already got on the CBT thing, bring them all together and, and promote it in different cities. So that's in Wrexham at the end of this month. Brilliant. Um, I, mean, I mean, it certainly sounds as if the, it's moving in the right direction. Do you know what I mean? And, and there's... I mean, this, this is how all these things start, and it is, it's about, it is about coming together, do you know what I mean? And it always is, it always is, like, I always say, like, he, when recovery, when you're in recovery, it's about bringing yourself together, bringing all the broken parts together, and I think when you're up against, the rap scene's always, like, America's always going to probably d dominate it, right? Like, you're probably going to dominate it. England have had some massive successes, do you know what I mean? Out with that, but there's no many countries that you could say. I mean, there probably is like Hispanic rappers. I know that they've got their own thing going. Do you know what I mean? Like, but for us to listen to it's, it's these massive industries in America, and you've got massive industries in the UK, and it is just trying to break the barriers into it. It's trying to kind yeah. of break them down and go. And that is it, that CBT thing sounds as if that could be if you're putting on shows and you're. Bringing each, they're all following each other, and and people are getting to hear different accents and stuff. Yeah. Then it's definitely the way forward. That sounds quite exciting. So they want to start up like rap battles as well. That like you know the, the different mm -hmm. the different CBT Glasgow v CBT Dublin that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. They've already obviously already had that with like uh, Red Bull. I've mm -hmm. had like Glasgow v Manchester and Did stuff they, like that. I years right. ago. Like, if you listen to it, right, I, I personally think Glasgow should have won it, but again, Aye. I think it's something accent. to do with the accent. I don't know, that's just my personal opinion, Aye. do you know what I mean? But, like, yeah, type it in. I will, uh, no, I'll definitely watch it. I Google it, Aye. Aye. It's a, a Red, Red Bull rap battles, a Red Bull something challenges. And who was the Glasgow boys have been doing? Was it, can you remember? Uh, 
I think it's Chrissy Grimes, Sherlock, and a boy Ransom who's actually for Aberdeen. Aye. Yeah, so aye. it was there for them. Aye, aye. So, I mean, it's obviously, it's it's just, it's, it is really just breaking that cycle of, and it's, let's be honest, it's the young ones who pick music now. Do you know what I mean? Like the music we're all we're all set on music. Do you know what I mean? It's the young people that are coming up that you really need to kind of influence. Do you know what I mean? To show that this, then it becomes the, the, your accent doesn't doesn't make any difference. Do you know what I mean? So, what would you say that? Obviously, social media is massive, right? What's the is is social media the the way forward? Do you think? Oh, to, like, promote. to promote it. Ah, I definitely. I, I def hundred percent definitely like you know Aye. like you need to, how that's what everybody everybody's on Aye. social media now do you know what I mean Aye. um because you know there's something what, like TikTok like where you could do battles and stuff on TikTok no, that so means. that's kind of what what the on point thing started as do you know what I mean it was competitions and stuff Does that like be that, quite interesting you know what I mean um, have you heard that uh, the guy I don't know why I've got one he's on my TikTok of shreds or something oh. He's good, isn't he? At levels, at uh, levels, man. He's, uh, I couldn't believe how how good he was. Like, uh, just, uh, I was really good. I was really impressed with him. But I don't know why he's on my feed. I must have just followed uh, him. Uh, uh, but, uh, um, but that's kind of so. He'd he'd put out a few tunes and stuff like years ago, right? But he's kind of brought himself back kindly through TikTok, rapping on TikTok lives. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's where I seen him. And it's became monetized for him now, do you know, getting gifts and stuff like that. I, mean, I think that's obviously that's the way that you aye. need to kind of go into yep. it. Because aye, hundred percent. They get these. I mean, I feel uncomfortable sometimes when you're on TikTok and people are sending. But I suppose that's people. People want to watch into it. It's like if people want to watch the stuff that your 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 content and. Um, Especially the content you. I mean, I'm basically going on having conversations about prison and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean, it's not really. A, a, a talent in that, if you know what I mean. It's it's just trying to there's, there's maybe a, some sort of level of trying to highlight stuff and and maybe trying to get a bit of reform and understanding of it. But you guys have actually got a talent that you could be kind of if you've branded it correctly, if you if you go it the right way, you could really make something like that. Do you know what I mean? So, um, what's your favourite platform then, Daza? Where's your where's where's your kind of biggest platform? Is it, would you say TikTok, is that what you're going to concentrate on? Because you're, you're kind of so, just only starting out on social media as well, aren't you really? Uh, I only started that TikTok kind of in about November time or something like that, October, November. I very nearly deleted it. Aye. See, at first, see all the abuse I was getting and all that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, like, it's always the same stuff TikTok's as well, toxic, do you know what I mean? Fe, it's so toxic. Like, somebody with a u user. User 128. Aye, aye. <laughs> With 13 followers following 600 people. Do you know, know what I mean? I know. And it's just like, and now I just, I just That's it, do you know what I mean? It's you when you've, you've lived a life, like we've had to live in and, and the stuff you've had to endure. It is at, this, at this, the very start, it is, you're like, why is he saying that? And why, why I never said that? And do you know that way? And then you just realise people just love to Aye. get a bite out of you and annoy you. Do you know what I mean? doesn't matter what you do, how you do it. People who have something to say about it, yeah. do you know what I mean? But so, what would you obviously? I always try and see for like young ones, when we're watching this, or whatever, or younger people. What would you say to them for that kind of social media thing? Just because obviously you've experienced that kind of with the bad comments and the stuff like that. What would you say just for, for the kind of viewers? Like, no, everybody is able to take it the way, do you know what I mean? Mm. It can really affect people, it can really affect some people, do you know what I mean? Aye. So, it might be a laugh or or people think it's no, do you know what I, know. I mean? People could, you don't know what's going on for somebody. I know. Out with that, do you know what I mean? No. Somebody could be posting music, right, is their only way out. They could be in a right bad way. They could be posting something, and that's like the release, that's the right? Out. Aye. And then somebody's gives a nasty comment or a stupid wee snider, do you know what I mean? And then, I know. do you know what, it could be harmful to that person. Do you know what I mean? No, definitely. No, just so in much. the term of, Stop them pursuing what they want to do, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't know where they're at at that minute in their life. Do you know what I, know. I mean? What's going on for them? Do you know what I mean? No, it's a good point, it's that like, is because I, the way I mean, I've kind of set out to do something, and like obviously I'm doing all right, same as yourself. It's it's like s slow moving, and 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 when you come for 
as we were talking about before, when you come through that life that, that we have lived, a lot of people have got a preconceived idea of you anyway. Yep. It's usually wrong, do you know what I mean? Aye. Um, and you're, you've got that, you need to overturn them anyway, do you know what I mean? So you, you, you're you going to get the comments, do you know what I mean? People go, ah, fucking you, blah, blah, blah. But pursue your dream, Aye. isn't it? Do what do, do, do you want to do. Believe in yourself, do you know what I mean? And believe that you can do it and it'll come. And if it doesn't, you've tried. Aye, that's it. Do you know what do I mean? What I mean, aye. Um, so just as we're kind of coming up near the end of the, the, the hanging man, it's been brilliant and it's been really fascinating. And uh, obviously I've spoke to you before and if anybody's watching this, we can have the, I'd love to get yourself back on with a few of the boys for Scottish Rap. Aye. Um, and we can get a better chat about the, where he's, where it's going and, and, and get other people's perspectives on it. But where do you see the Scottish Rap? Do you see, do you see it taking after us? Or do, you, or do you think it's just a pipe dream? I mean, obviously, I'm not I mean that in a derogatory sense, but do you see it taking off or do you think it's just that kind of, I'm doing this for myself and... It's already getting bigger, it's already growing, you know, see some of the young ones that are coming through now as well. Right? Aye, you know really I mean? talented. See, aye, see if they keep up with it and keep doing what, what they're doing, mm -hmm. you know, it's just make enough noise and people will hear, isn't it? Aye. It's all about pushing each other, we've got to push each other, other people aren't going to no. do it, so if we all push each other and make enough noise, something. And sadly people like to see people fall sometimes a day, aye. but people like to see the... F and and like Eminem, like he's classy, and he like he finishes people with one song. Do you know what Aye. I mean? Like um, I seen them that who was it? They've done it. Was it Machine Gun Kelly or Aye, something? Aye, like aye. But I mean that is. I mean that that he deserved that. Do you know what I mean? But it's like things like that where you've got to kind of you do need to have thick skin and you guys getting together, man. There's a good group. It seems like you've got a good core group Aye. that that's going to help the young ones. And, and evolve something, do you know what I mean? And, and, and bring in Scottish rapper, it is brand new. Name. I mean, who is, is there, has there ever been a Scottish rapper in in the charts? Like, I can't, no, I don't think no, so, eh? Charts. No, I no. don't think there's even been, so no. it's, it is basically untouched, really. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's basically um, brand new, everybody. Um, obviously a lot of people have been at it for years and these are the kind of pioneers, but um, that is all kind of new, and, and we, with social media and stuff, and the, the the exposure that you can get with TikTok and Facebook and all these kind of places, it's definitely somewhere. Aye. Because that song, I thought it was absolutely amazing. That song, the first one, and I'm, I will follow anything. Like I, I watched a few of your other songs, and so what is some? Just as we finish, what, what's what's the many songs have you done, Daz, that you would kind of say? Of you've got videos for and you've or maybe no even videos but you would say you've got like, like songs that you would call your own so i've got about seven or eight on my own channel i just done a feature with another another uh scottish rapper glasgow rapper called m2 um tiki tacker we that came out last week mm -hmm. um that's on his channel though mm -hmm. i've got that jack story on on 1250 tv that's like a storytelling rap um so when I got my year clean just at the start of May there, I dropped my first my first song on the On Point channel mm -hmm. as well. Um, three, six, five days. I've got a couple of things coming up. I've got a, a collab with a Scouse rapper, um, a Liverpool rapper coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop that on my own channel. And I've got uh, another another like solo kind of boom bap thing mm -hmm. and then other stuff in in the works as well do you know what i mean i'm always writing i'm always looking to progress and kind of work with other artists as well do you know what i mean no i think he's, it, the, the only way is to get support for each other do you know what i mean and right. then your supporters become their supporters and and that's how you you, you can evolve do you know what i mean it's like you, you can't start off of these platforms and social media for anywhere. Yeah. The, well, you do, but you know how hard that is. It's a yeah. grind. It is a grind trying to get to even a half decent level. Do you know what I mean? And you know the money in it. There's no money in it. Do you know what I mean? It's like people write, people have wrote to me before, like, oh, you're only in it for the money. I'm like, fuck, it, mate. <laughs> I can hell, man. It certainly knows it's cost me money. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's mad the way people think, but you're trying to build something and. You want to do it your own way, do you know what I mean? You want to do it, like, I've had it on here and you could 
easily go in here and glamorise. But that's not what I believe. Do you know what I mean? I, I want I like the recovery, a good success story. Aye. Something like yourself. And um, no, I think it's phenomenal, Daz, what you're doing. Honestly, I really do. And uh, anybody that's watching, please go over to his channel, give him a follow, man, and and uh, check his stuff out. So where else can we get you on Instagram and stuff like that as well? In Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. And it'll just be, like, Daz, Daz I know, like... Daz, it'll just... No, it'll still be Daz, JFT. Daz JFT. I, I, I'll leave it a while before I change the aye. socials and stuff like aye. that. Aye. So, just at the end, right, I've, I, when I put out, a couple of people asked me to ask you just a couple of wee questions, right? So, it was a guy, Davey RFC, he says, Daz, you mentioned influencing, the influence of your own life within your music. Um, can you share a specific experience or moment that deeply impacted your lyrical style? Just being addicted to where I kind of, when I sit back and look at where, where I was, do you know what I mean? Like that pure rock bottom, that feeling, that despair, that loneliness, that isolation. Do you know what I mean? That's like... Using those feelings I, to actually... To me and to kind of give people hope that there's a way out because people have... I've then messaged me, right, and I never thought this would happen like that, do you know what I mean? Right. People have messaged me, boy, for scheme night, like, how right. did you get help? I'm pure, I've never said to anybody about this, but I'm doing this, right. how did you get help? Do you know what I mean? Give right. them a number for, for uh, a rehab, brilliant. for a cat right. team, right. something like that, do you right. know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, uh, no, it's brilliant, and, and as you said, I get that as well, and you can't help everybody, do you know what I mean? It's right. hard doing... I hate, the, the, as your platform grows, you'll see like there's more and more people that come to you, do you know what I mean? And um, because you're, you're doing so well, and uh, people think that you're smashed it when you've got, still got your own stuff that you need to deal with, do you know what I mean? In life in general, you've got your own life. And, um, but anyway, it's set number two, second question was for Leslie. Uh, 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 recent years, Scottish rap gain, has been gaining more recognition. Do you think, uh, what do you think the key factor is for that? Um, and where do you see it in five years? Social media, do you know what I mean? The fact that it's getting more more exposure and stuff like that. Um, TikTok, do you know, it's only going to grow, it's only going to get bigger. See what it's like. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of younger ones coming through, the young mm -hmm. team, um, that are like already very, very talented, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So if they keep going, they're only going to get better. And I, I, it sets the bar, see if people start getting used to hearing that music at school and all that, then they get used to the accent. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? So you might not be able to, that's what I'm saying. I think it, you, there'll be a lot of people at our age that probably wouldn't even get would, 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 would the Scottish rap, what's that? Do you know what I mean? Aye. Like, wouldn't even know. But as you, it's, it's, it's all about the evolution of it and TikTok and this social media and all that. That's the way forward. It's the way yeah. to kind of grasp all these people, do you know what I mean? Aye. And, uh, so the last question, Daza, is uh, for Montana Blank. Montana Blank. Um, social media plays a huge role in the music industry. Um, how do you balance yourself with maintaining and engaging a presence on there? I probably spend far too much time on social media <laughs> anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's it's really really kind of bad. You know, like Aye. just just keep it consistent. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Like. I found, see, at the start on TikTok, like, I was doing really well, right, and kind of knew sometimes I struggle to hit a thousand, thousand views on there, but then I've got nearly a hundred thousand views on, on some of the early stuff I've posted. There's no right my rhythm. Ah, yeah, it, it's, it's, and then I've, like, tried to look it up, so I think it's just being uh, consistent, consistent and yeah. posting relevant, is. relevant content, do you no, know I what I mean? No, I couldn't agree more. No, I couldn't agree more. I've got one, like, 250,000 views on TikTok, and then I've got ones that you think, are, hey, that's a good thing, and it's like 800 views. Uh, like, I, it's just weird, isn't it? You're just, but again, it's a learning curve. Like, you're, you're kind of new to this, started running at the same time as me, and we're still learning a lot of stuff. I mean, it's, it's like we're talking about things all day, and, and, and how how you letting certain people into the box, your boxes, and maybe no doing that, and just doing your own stuff. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And because TikTok TikTok can be very toxic, and that world can right. be very toxic. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I mean, <clears throat> I mean that that be Kaz Milligan, um, who I I've actually I know I haven't really half of myself to be honest with, you, with his antics. Do you know what I mean? Like with the stuff that he's done. But anyway, he's at a different time. Um, <laughs> but 
he done an amazing, bo- uh, that was an amazing boxing event. Do you know what I mean? It was really good. Is there no something like he's could do with that, with rap and stuff? Like a Scottish... Well, you know? my, I... Do you know what I mean? Aye, like, aye, there's kind of stuff... A TikTok stuff, event, like, through Scottish there's rap. There's kind of some rappers that have been asked to, to do stuff on, on the boxing events and right. stuff like that, but that's no... Aye, for that, aye, 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 no aye. for me to kind of say, you know what I mean? But aye. Aye, aye, so... But just aye. keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled for that, aye. aye. At the hydro. Aye. <laughs> 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 uh, no, no. I know, no. Listen, uh, that is that honestly brilliant. It's been great having aye. you. And I'm sure you. I'll see you again, mate, because I'd, lo- I'd love to have you on here like, again and uh, get into it with a few people and get, in a, aye, a, get a good chat about it. So I know you're going to do maybe a wee rap for us here. Aye, um, and uh, we'll get it up and uh, spit a couple of bars for us. So aye. thank you very much for no coming worries. on. Really oh, appreciate no it, mate. Thanks Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, Sean. Hand upon my heart, you can swear it on the Bible I'm refusing to lose, that's a shout out to tribal They're banking on me failing, banking on me flopping Me, I'm not the same, I'm thanking them for watching When shit goes south, man can get sinister These haters be so salty, man, I sprinkle in some vinegar These only fans, bitches, but I respect your hustle It's like the something missing for your jigsaw puzzle Selling all this content, but are you really content? And designer clothes, but they're struggling with rent Baby mother stressing me, some calls me by my name And for a wee well, now it hasn't been the same I don't know what she teaches to influence his brain Stop making me the poster boy in your hate campaign See all the pain, I live it You try your best to tell it But me, I wouldn't buy it if you try so hard to sell it It's a never ending story No watch me blazing glory Like Francis from the past Like I was finding Dory But it doesn't matter now Cause it all became evident Do it on the phone But face to face they're hesitant Talking up the most What you're trying to be relevant I walk up into any room Sit up on the elephant Snake me, done me wrong I've got no time for sentiment it doesn't matter what you say Your actions showed me what you meant you can act like Roman Reigns, put your head up on the table Catch you on the news, it's it, condition might be stable But I'm trying to live good, man, I'm trying to live right But if you want to push me, then I'm always down to fight